what you're about to see right now is Chromebot in action. Chromebot is an autotyper for Chromebook users. Uh, it works for Mac and Windows users as well, but Chromebook and a Chrome, not Chromebook, Mac and Windows users have other options. So they're pro they're probably not going to want to use this. It's it's a great autotyper, right? As you can see right now, it's working perfectly fine, and it works in the background, uh, meaning like you can leave this tab and go to a different tab or go to a different window and it would still keep typing which is a plus how you know that it's typing is by looking at the speed the WPM and the accuracy right here if it's changing then that means it is working you can't really tell by looking at the text on the right side which normally would change uh, colors as you type but uh, on this spot it doesn't change it just stays as it is another way you can tell is by looking at the car if you see that the car is moving and keeping up with the other cars obviously then that means it is working uh, I've heard some people well, when I say some people I mean like one person say that the he or she was able to do like 1,000 not even a thousand but over a thousand races uh, session races with this bot and they didn't get banned or anything like that I don't know how because I created like six accounts just to see and tested out this autotyper and on all those six accounts I I got banned within the first 10, 10 to 15 races and so I don't know how he or she was able to do over a thousand races and I got banned on six accounts on the same day within the first 10 races so that's that's the only problem I got with this auto type rather than that it works perfectly fine uh, right now I'll show you how to change the speed and the accuracy so you'll click on the tamper monkey extension and first make sure you're on the natural type page on the race page as I am right now so once you're on there you'll click on the tamper monkey extension uh, to the right of Chromebot, you will click on this button, click on edit, and right here is where you change the speed. As right now, I changed it to do 95, and by default, it's set to do like 127. Um, let's let's change it like to I don't know, back to 127. Uh, we're gonna keep the accuracy as it is, and also don't forget to save, or else it won't the changes that you made won't apply so save you can also just do command s on mac and control s on windows and chromebook as you can see we was just on a different tab but it still kept typing um, which is really cool because the other auto typers you would normally have to stay on that on the natural type page for uh, the bot to work or else it would start typing on the other type that you're on or it just wouldn't type at all but this one you can be on a different tab or a different window and it would still keep typing and refresh the race and do more and more races which is really cool so we change it to do like 127 as you can see it is getting there 115 114 116 118 117 115 117, 19, 18. I don't know if the race finished there. Seems like it refreshed the page too early. Let's try it out again, I guess. And by the way, if for some reason that the race gets disqualified, it will automatically detect that and advance to the next race. So you don't have to worry about uh, restarting the race or anything it would do everything by itself okay that time I actually finished the race so I'll have the link for this bot in the description and so so you can try it out for yourself and please make sure you do not use this on your main account because more likely you'll probably be banned I don't know how that person that told me that they did 1000 races was able to do that many races without getting banned um, so but you can you can still play around with it just make a new account and see how many races you can do without getting banned link will be in the description and that will be it for this video